Good morning, everybody. It's still morning, even though it's 1130. It's fine, right? Today, I really want to talk to you guys about the importance of color correcting. And the reason that I want to talk to you guys about that today is because I have a bunch of different things going on with my skin today that I wanted to talk to you about how cool and easy it is to color correct with mascara. All right, so let me just share this really quick. I know it's annoying when people do this, but it really does help boost like how many people get to see it. So first off, let's talk about all the different things that go on with our skin, especially after the holidays when we're all really tired and we have a lot of dark circles going on underneath your eyes. You maybe you have some breakouts. I've got some type of an infection going on here. I'm going to see skin doctor about, but um, I wanted to talk to you about how you can like improve that. And it's done without looking cakey. So I don't know how many of you guys have tried to cover up different things on your face and it looks terrible. Or maybe you've tried to use concealers. You guys, I have a kajillion concealers. And what I'm telling you right now is they do not work for mature eyes. They like get crusty and creasy and they just like show worse than what you were trying to cover up. So that's another reason why I love these products so much. So. First, let's talk about what you can do with the dark circles around your eyes or the veins on the top of your eyelids. Um, this can all be done like lickety split. So one of my secret weapons is called Mango. It's this color right here. It's very, kind. it's kind of orangey. Um, it works really well for me to cancel out that gray purple underneath my eyes you see how fast that did that? One baby swipe, okay? But there are some other colors that work just as well. There's a color called um, Sunlit. It's really yellow. It works as a great concealer underneath your eyes. Um, it just really depends on what's going on under, underneath your eyes. So if you're wanting help with figuring out what will work best under your eyes to cover everything up, um, drop in the comments below dark circles. Just type dark circles in the comment and then you and I can have a chat about how we can make this stuff go away to like that. Amazing, right? So the way I like to do this and the way I talk um, my customers through concealing their under eyes is many times I'll go in first with the mango, okay? And I will just kind of very, very lightly tap it on those dark circles, okay? Now, as you can see, my eyelids are super red today. So I can use mango as well, or I can use my highlight color and just simply dab it on my eyelids and watch the magic happen. See that? Can you even stand it? It's like that easy, you guys, to cover it up. And the great news is, is that it acts as a primer for your eyelids. So when you go in to put your um, eyeshadow on, it's magic. So I just go ahead and do all of my color correcting at once. Now with this stuff going on underneath my nose right here, I wanna be sure and not spread it all over my face, right? So I'm gonna go in with mango, I'm just using this brush still, and I'm just going to tap it just on that spot, okay? Now you guys, this is where it's super important, okay? I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna take my Restore Cleaner. This doesn't just clean your brushes, but it disinfects, so I'm just going to spray it on my brush because remember, that's where I dabbed that, whatever that's going on, and I don't want to infect the rest of my face. I take my nice little microfiber cloth, and I'm just going to clean that up, okay? 
now that brush can be used everywhere else and I won't be worried about like spreading whatever that is. So if you're prone to acne or whatnot, be sure you get some of this restored because then when you dab it on these places, you're gonna clean your brush really quick and not spread the stuff all over your face, all right? Now my nose is a little red, so I'm just going to kind of give it a light layer and my chin is the same way. So you guys, that's my color correcting step. That's step one, when I do my makeup, I go in and do all my color correcting. Now it seems kind of crazy and you can kind of see the orange that's going on underneath my eyes. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that. So next what I like to do is I like to go in and contour my face. So I like to go in, I have a few different colors of contour that I like to use, but today I'm going to use stone. And the way I talk about doing your contour is in a three. So you kind of go like this under your cheek and then underneath your jawline. Super, super easy. And make sure that you're keeping it tucked right up underneath that, that um, cheekbone because we really wanna lift that cheek up, okay? We wanna give ourselves an instant facelift, okay? It's so easy to do. And then right here along the jawline, I'm just going to create a shadow there to really lift that cheek up, okay? So take it on this side. I always go too low on this side. I don't know why I do that. And you'll see me doing a lot of tapping motion my skin accepts it a little bit better with tapping and then I don't want to swipe too much on my face because I already have enough wiggly skin. I don't want to create more wiggly skin, okay? Up here on my forehead, it doesn't wiggle so I can swipe. And I'm just going to kind of take it down the side. Now right here, I like to take a little bit of a darker color right back here and it's called Astoria and it just like gives me one more dimension okay so it's really fun it's super easy you're just dabbing in the makeup okay now I'm gonna go in with my 30 second hack brush okay I'm just making sure it's clean I always have like a little washcloth next to me that I am wiping my makeup off. I just think it makes them stay nicer, longer, but you guys have to get the Restore Brush Cleaner. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my highlight, okay? And you can see, this is because I like to self tan, so I usually use these three colors. This is Candlelit, Amber, and Aura. This is the one I use underneath my eyes. This is my color corrector. And this one here I use to brighten without adding shine. Because I have mature eyes, I don't really want to add too much shine. Plus we have some amazing new eyeshadows that I love, love, love. And so I wanna add shine with those eyeshadows and not with a, like a highlight. So I'm gonna go in with the butt end of my 30 second. I'm just gonna tap into that. And I'm going to go everywhere that I don't have my contour. See what that's doing already? And I'm just dabbing it. I like to get a really nice line right there. Now, if I feel like it's too dark today because my self tanner has worn off, hi Rosalind, how are you? Then I'm just going to dab into candle it. Okay, and that's what's so amazing is everything's in one palette. You're not like taking off lids and all sorts of different things. So I'm just kind of dabbing candlelit just to kind of give me the coverage. And then I'm gonna go right here where I have that um, infection. And then I'm gonna clean my brush off again, spray it with my Restore Brush Cleaner because I don't want to cause any cross contamination at all. Now, I'm gonna go in with Aura and I'm gonna put it right underneath my eyes in the triangle. So many of you who I talk through using this makeup 
and I give you a couple of different colors of highlight, the lighter one goes right here in this triangle. And you wanna bring it all the way back up here onto um, the top of your cheekbone because we're really trying to brighten that eye up, okay? Now, I'm gonna contour my nose and I like to use the detail hack and I'm just going to run this right down the side, okay? Now, the whole idea with nose contour is you want to make sure the line is narrow enough. <laughs> I got it a little bit crooked. Guess what, you guys? It doesn't matter. We can fix it. Um, but if you make these two lines too far apart, then what happens is your nose looks wider, okay? So I'm just going to take the lighter color right down my nose. See what that does? It totally makes my nose look thinner. All right, this looks super dark right now, right? Don't panic. Okay, there's a couple of different ways I like to blend, you guys. So I like to take my Perfector sponge, it's good and wet, and then I wrung it out, watch this. Just a couple of drops left, okay? And then I'm just going to dab on my face. And I'm going to kind of go over all of my highlight first, and then I'm just going to kind of blend up my contour. Okay. Super easy, right? That was super easy. Now, I just forgot, I like to do a little bit of contour right here underneath my lip because it makes my lip look a little bit bigger. And then if I feel like I need to like, just kind of touch this up a little bit. Once I blend it, I can usually tell where I kind of have missed a couple of places. Okay, now, the next thing I do is I put my stay spray on, okay? This stay spray can be used as a primer or it can be used to finish your makeup. Many people use it both ways. So um, I my skin loves the makeup, so I just use it on the top. It really helps set my makeup. I kind of let it dry. And then I'm gonna go in with this Laura Mercier powder. So I get a little bit in um, the top here. I take my fluffy end of my B squared now, if you have mature skin and you have really dry skin, be very careful with the powder, okay? Because it will dry your face out. So let me know if you have questions about whether or not you should use powder. Um, I am just very careful about putting it right underneath my eyes because that's when my eyes get dehydrated but I really like to powder my lid up here because this is what's going to make my eyes all ready for my eyeshadow. We have some amazing new eyeshadows. I know, Maxine, it's really fun to do it just right under your lip. Just kind of plumps it up. Many girls are now contouring their lips, which is kind of crazy, but they look amazing when they do it. I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm a little old to be like doing too much. So, hey, I say try it, see what you think. If you love it, then keep doing it. Now I'm gonna go in with a blush. These are the blushes I have in mine. This is um, Hollywood Plum Bear Sandstone Nude and Scarlet. So those are my like go-to blushes. I'm going to use sandstone and I like to smile just a little bit, place the majority of the color right here on the ball and then just kind of tap it and blend it out. Okay. And you guys will notice that everything blends so easy. It's so fun. And everything's just in this one little palette and it just simplifies my whole makeup routine. 
All right, let's look in this mirror, make sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell in the light here when I'm looking at my phone, what it's looking like. Now, let's say you really want to brighten up your face, but you kind of like the darker um, cheeks for winter. If you take and put a little bit of Hollywood and just dab it right here, it will like brighten up your cheeks and you'll get that like really pretty brightening effect that um, you want, but you still want to not look like it's like summer makeup. And then I'm gonna go in with my Honey Illuminator and I'm going to tap it right above my, my cheek color. Now, you guys, stay away from the wrinkles here with your illuminator. Keep it below the wrinkles and above the blush, okay? Because if you put illuminator on your wrinkles, you're gonna see them more. And nobody really wants that, right? Okay, so let's talk about some of these new eyeshadow colors. I'll do my brows. Um, let's do my brows right now. Because they're so fast, we might as well, right? So I use this color called Shadow as my brow color. Now I take my um, Know Your Angles brush, which is magical, and I just kind of fill these in. I need to go in and have my brows touched up again. They are microbladed, but see how natural that color looks? And then I'm just gonna kind of go right underneath and give myself a nice pretty line. And then I'm going to come up above and give myself a nice line. And then I'm just going to kind of brush and fill that in. So that's a contour color called Shadow. Sometimes if um, I wanna warm it up a little bit, I'll use a little bit of Astoria, which is a really pretty color as well. And I'm always about multitasking with what's in my palette. So you guys, when we talk about color correcting, I actually have had a few people and some other artists as well that color correct with um, a color called Petal, which is a blush and lip color, and also a color called um, Frenchy, which is like a peachy color underneath the eyes. So um, I, I think that like there's so many different ways to color correct. You just need to find what is going to do the best for you. So again, if you want me to help you with some color correcting, drop, um, what did I say earlier? I can't remember. Did I say color correct? Or did I say dark circles <laughs> in the comments? I can't remember. Oh, now I'm getting sidetracked because Lily thinks it's FaceTime and she's talking to me. Hi, Lily. How's my little girl? Did Santa come and see you? <laughs> I love Lily. She's like the sweetest little thing. Okay, let me get my eyeshadow brushes out here. And let's talk about some eyeshadow colors. All right. I have no idea where where my eyeshadow brush is. Hi Jess, what's happening? So I'm gonna go in first and make sure my eyelid is all ready to go and I'm just gonna use a color called Cupcake. It's like a creamy white with no shimmer. And I'm just going to kind of place that all over my eye to make sure that it is all ready for some really pretty eyeshadow. So, what colors do we use today? So in this side, you guys, we have all, I have all of the matte colors, except for these two. This is Sabrina and Rome, because on the other side, these are all the shiny ones, and then these are all the illuminators. So I've used a few um, that I absolutely love. And yesterday I tried a little bit of a new technique that was really fun. Instead of just putting the shimmer only where it was supposed to go, I did the shimmer on the whole lid and then went over 
the different areas with a matte color and it worked out so great. I'm gonna show you how that works. So let's try using, let's see, let's see what this color is. Let's try using Foxy, all right? Because like, why, why wouldn't you want to use a color called Foxy? I'm gonna take it and then put it on the lid. And I'm just going to kind of do it in dabbing motions. Look at how pretty that color is, you guys. Do you even see the shine? It's so pretty. I'm gonna put it on this lid. And honestly, if all I did was that for the day, it would be so pretty, right? You don't have to make eyeshadow too complicated. It can be super basic and super simple. Now, I think I put my other brush in my bag to do makeup on my family members. So that's why I don't have my mascara brush, which is kind of a bummer because it's like really the best brush to place. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a matte color and I'm gonna do the matte color up here. And I'm going to use this color called Leo, which seems crazy that you would use pink on your lid and then this orange. But you guys, I am obsessed with this color. Watch how this builds. And I'm very, very lightly touching And then if I want a little bit more right here on the outside, I just kind of dab it. See that? Isn't that beautiful? So again, this color is called Leo and it's like this really pretty orange color. You guys, I love it. So I'm just going to kind of place it and then just very lightly buff it out. Blend, blend, blend. That's the most important part of doing your eyeshadow. And if you have time, take your time and build the colors. When you build colors, it like makes for the most beautiful eyeshadow. I know that many of us don't have a lot of time for a lot of eyeshadow, which is totally fine. But if you do, you can really tell when somebody has spent the time to do their eyeshadow. Am I creasing under here? Because I probably put too much on. Now, do you like that ring? You guys, this ring is from a place called Little Sycamore. And that is a quartz crystal cluster. It's the prettiest ring, I love it. I'll drop her, she's on Instagram. She's called Little Sycamore. Thanks my honey. I'm doing, I'm doing eyeshadow, honey. Okay, you guys, isn't that pretty? Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this Leo and I'm just gonna kind of lightly place it underneath my eye right here. You guys, I'm telling you, if you get any colors, any of the new colors, and you like want a really pretty matte color, especially if you like Bubba, you will love Leo. Okay, so really pretty right now i'm going to kind of marry these two colors together okay and i'm going to take a color called um called finn and it's this really pretty chocolatey brown color um it's like so if you've tried coco coco's kind of a purpley brown this is more like a chocolate, like dark chocolate brown. And so like I literally, I'm taking like the smallest amount possible 
And I'm just going to add just a little bit of depth, kind of right here on the outside of my eye. This is where I wish I had my other brush because mascara's brush is so perfect to like put it on on this side and then flip the brush over and buff it out with the other side. It's kind of like the best like one brush does it all kind of a brush. See how that like really adds just one more layer one more layer of yumminess for your eyes okay now i'm just going to kind of make sure it's all buffed out so it's really fun to add some shimmers in and do it in a way that isn't too frightening now I'm gonna put a little bit of gold right here above where I put my um, eyeliner. So the, then you see my eyeliner and then the gold is like right above it. It's like super eye-catching and really, really pretty. Let me tell you what color this is. I'm gonna drop that one. I don't wanna drop these eyeshadows. So this one's called Blondie, and it's like, you guys are going to die. And I'm just going to kind of tap it right, kind of as an eyeliner, but a thicker eyeliner, so that then when I go to add my liner, you see it. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Now this is like super glittery but it's not even as glittery as some of the other ones whoa right glitter 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 see see how pretty that is okay now let me show you guys what i do with my eyeliner we're gonna see if I can do my eyeliner. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to like have my like thing right here. Let's see if I can show you guys. So I'm gonna take my liner. See how pretty that is? See what that does? And then you wanna make sure to not take your liner all the way down, remember, and then flip your brush, which I don't know why that part of my, hang on, technical difficulty. I have something on the end of my liner. Okay, technical difficulty. Flip my liner this way, lay it down, and bring it in this way. See what that does? Hang on, I gotta like fix this. Okay, and then you wanna make sure and do your waterline. See what that does for my eye? Isn't that fun how the gold just barely shows through? Now, let's say that's as much glitter and sparkle as you want to do. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take, um, I, I like either Moonlit or Linen, and I take it on this end of my little um, detail hack, and I'm going to place it right here, okay? And this is going to brighten up around my eyes, see that, without adding um, any more shimmer. Now, you can also take your Moonlit or Linen, and i am on got my little multitasker here, and you're gonna take it and go right underneath your brow like this, okay? And this is also gonna hide a little bit 
if your brows need to be plucked, but it like brightens up and I'm just gonna dab it in right there. Okay, look at the difference with the brightening of the moonlit and without. So it's just a way to really add in the brightening, but if you don't, like I have a lot of wrinkles and stuff right here, so if you just add the moonlit or the linen there, then it'll brighten your eye without actually showing off the wrinkles. Because we've got enough sparkle going on on our lid. Okay, you guys, hopefully that has helped you a little bit with color correcting. If you need help covering up um, skin imperfections, dark circles, purple, red, whatever it is, I'm telling you right now, mascara can do it and do it very, very beautifully. Um, I know Leo Maxine, I am telling you, it's, it's so, so pretty. And when you mix it with Finn, and then with ever with whatever other sparkle you have, it's amazing. All right. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions on color correcting, on if you're using two different colors of highlight, make sure you're using the brighter one in this triangle right underneath your eyes. And then um, don't forget to brighten. Look at the difference of my brows when you go in with that moonlit right underneath that brow. Doesn't it make that brow just look like Oh, it's so perfect, right? That's what you want. And it can be done lickety split. All right? Hang on, I gotta like, uh-oh. Um, yeah, the moonlit is really magical. You can also use moonlit all over your whole lid to um, get rid of the redness or just use whatever highlight color you have. But um, magical stuff and so fun and so easy. And everybody should be able to do their makeup in 10 minutes. And um, I hope you guys have survived Christmas okay. I know it was crazy and fun yesterday. Take a few minutes for yourself today and put on a little makeup and clean up all the boxes and wrapping paper. But who out there takes their Christmas down now? Who waits until January 2nd? And who takes their Christmas down now? Because I'm kind of on the fence. Some years I've taken it down, some years I've left it up. So anyway, I'm off for the day. You guys have a great day. Again, message me if you have any questions about color correcting and I'll get back with you and you guys have a great day, okay? Thanks so much.